Hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss one feature which has been released in October 2023 release and that feature is enhancement on deployment pipeline so, so deployment pipeline you can now customize you can create a customized pipeline from 2 to 10 steps that's the first feature which has came in now deployment pipeline multitasking Deployment pipeline multitasking is next feature and new entry point for deployment pipeline on the main page. These are the three enhancements. So let's click on this and see in more details. So deployment pipeline, a customized pipeline is finally here. That's what yes, you can create your own stages. So you can add multiple stages and you can create your own pipeline and decide that you can set your own name for each stages and those names can be changed later through new stage setting pane located near the next stage name. Okay. Now you can create your own pipeline. Now, what is this deployment pipeline multitasking deployment pipeline join the platforms existing new feature of multitasking, which opens new tab on the left navigation bar where you open an item or deployment pipeline, no more ending up with 10 explorer tab. So you don't have to open the multiple tabs. You will be able to see what is open here on the left hand side pane. And there's a new entry point, which is under the workspaces. You, you get deployment pipelines. So why don't we go ahead and try this out app.powerbi.com. And here, let me showcase you the new deployment pipeline features. So first of all, I'll click on the workspaces and and down here we have deployment pipeline. Let me click on the deployment pipeline and it shows me the pipeline. So I can click and open any one of them. And you can see a demo pipeline here and I can close this one. And let me go back and click on demo one pipeline and you can see demo one pipeline also available here. So this is the feature where we can have more than one pipeline open on open and they are available on the left pane. I can just simply click and go to any of the pipeline I want. And let me go to the pipeline home again, deployment pipeline. And I'll create a new pipeline October 2023 test. Let me copy paste the same description, press next. So development test production. Let me add a stage. Let me call this UAT. Let me call this prod. And you can let me call it as with small name dev. And let me say create. And as you can see, I have these crawl buttons where I can, you know, see pipelines. Assign the workspace to this pipeline. This is what we can do. We can assign the workspace. So I can click here and assign the workspaces. I can edit the name. Let me call it as dev. Let me call it dev one and say save. Now it is dev one. So this is my deployment pipeline with the four stages and I can assign a workspace. So let's say demo fabric and I can say assign workspace and it will say what are the unsupported because I'm using Microsoft fabric right now. The supported feature is report. Then I can decide a new workspace here or I can create a new workspace and assign to it. I can rename it. So all those features are available here. Now let's look at the manage access. I can assign it to user and people. And I, so let me click on assign group to the people, enter a name of a user. This is another user I created for me and the role which I can give is right now is admin only. So let me give the admin role and then there are settings where you can see the pipeline name, you can rename it on the three dots. You have delete pipeline option if you wanted to delete it. Now deployment history will show you the deployments history and you can just select a particular environment to check the history. So you can watch my old video on deployment pipeline, how to use deployment pipeline, how to load data, how to refresh it, how to change the settings and all those. So you can go ahead and watch that out. Do try out this new feature and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.